Well, ladies and gentlemen, the good news just keeps coming. That's what she said. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video, because today we have another package from Buckethead himself. <laughs> That is right, we've got a box from Buckethead Land and I am excited to see what's inside and it is fitting that this package arrives right now because just a few short days ago, we actually got a photo update on Buckethead's website that hints towards the fact that he is probably going to start touring soon. Now, I absolutely love everything about this photo. Everything from the classic old school 80s BMX bike to the new jumpsuit that Buckethead is wearing. He looks sick as shit. The 90s KFC bucket the classic 83 Caesar and that beautiful white Gibson guitar he's got. Absolutely incredible and I really really hope that we get some tour dates announced soon and I really hope that he hits Columbus because I absolutely love seeing Buckethead but I really really love seeing him in Columbus. The venues there are just really cool. It's not too far away and it's always a good time. So here's to a Buckethead 2023 tour. Let's gig. Now with that being said let's go ahead and jump on into today's box which is right here. As I said this does come directly from Buckethead and his official store. Now, right after I did that last Buckethead Land unboxing on the custom bucket that was autographed by Buckethead, as well as those Joanne Fabric masks, because yes, we did discover that he was finding those at Joanne Fabrics. He threw some new buckets up on his website, and I'm super, super stoked about these ones because they are a little prettier and they costed a little less. So. We will go ahead and take this thing out of the package right here. I can see the paint job on the front there, so I will spin it around so that you guys get the first look at it. And it looks like it's in good shape. Here we have it. Custom bucket head, bucket head painted, bucket, bucket. I don't know how many times I just said bucket, if it was enough or not enough there, but we've got a bucket head bucket head painted bucket. Really, really dig this look, and uh, yeah, this is my first time seeing it in person. I love that. I just think that this is so cool. It reminds me of like 90s child art or something like that. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Maybe like some sort of Sesame Street words on the screen type stuff. I don't know. Regardless, super, super cool. Here we have it. Worn. Love that. Absolutely love that, actually. And uh, on the inside there, I see that it says Buckethead signed 2023. So that is absolutely fantastic. Definitely a cool addition to my Buckethead collection. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, we've covered stuff like this before, and it probably won't get any more crazy than this unless I can somehow get a real stage used bucket from Buckethead or a mask or both. Buckethead. I just noticed when I was unboxing this that I've always given him my house address and it just says AJ Good. I'm wondering if I put the House of Masks on there if he would end up tossing something cool in there because from what I understand he definitely knows about the House of Masks and definitely thinks that it's cool but we just got to find a way to bridge that gap and get some sort of communication going. I really think that we'd be able to work out something neat whether it's getting him here or acquiring something from Buckethead for the museum. Something cool is bound to happen as long as we can just cross that communication barrier and get something in the works. But for right now, this is what it is. As I said, not the craziest thing in the world, just another cool piece that was a lot cheaper than the last set of buckets and a lot cooler looking in my opinion. Something that is definitely going to help add to the display of the last signed mask and bucket, which I have not put together yet. I am working on a display case for that. But now that we have this with it, I think that they're all going to go together and that is definitely going to change the look of that display. So obviously as we get that going, I will keep you guys posted. We've got a lot of, uh, what are they called? Damn, how do I forget my own series names? Weekly Wednesday updates. We've got a lot of weekly Wednesday update videos coming. There are a lot of projects that I'd like to knock out for this year, especially before Pale Fest. A lot of that involves new shelving and definitely want to rearrange Buckethead and kind of just get it nicer looking. It looks like a clusterfuck right now. So until then, this is what we are covering. So shout out to Buckethead from Buckethead Land. Love this piece. This thing is just super, super rad. Now, with all of that being said, as always, I'm going to give you guys a nice close up shot of this piece to let you see all of the detail, I guess. And that will be that for today's video. So 
thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate you, and I hope that you are enjoying all the content lately. I've been having an absolute blast knocking out pretty much daily videos for the better part of a week or two now. That feels really, really good. I love putting out a video a day, so I have absolutely loved the Distortion series. Love that I got this bucket head piece to unbox, and I love whatever else is about to come. It is a surprise, but I think that you guys are going to be like, whoa, it's a long time coming, and it's finally here, so I'm very excited for it. So stay tuned, and I will stop rambling now. So until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to Buckethead, and we will see you guys in the next one.